Hello everyone and welcome back to another Dr. Twisted's Comic Time. Well, as you can see, I got a lot of comics. I went to a flea market the first day, like Friday, and I found one of the guys I used to go to at another flea market, but that flea market sold to a church, so they had to move to another place. And I went there to check him out, and he had a bunch of Conan stuff I needed. So the first day, I bought some Conan comics, and then he gave me $10 comics for free. And I was talking to him, and I was like, I have like four long boxes of stuff. So he told me to bring it in, and we can do some trades. So the rest of these comics are some trades from the long boxes I brought in. Which I wanted to get rid of anyway. I just have too much stuff. I've been trying to sell a bunch and trade a bunch. So I got some comics that I needed for my personal collections. And then got rid of a bunch of stuff and made some room. So I'm happy about it. I still got to go through my other comics. And see he's holding the box for me of other stuff as well. So let me get on with this video because it might be long. I'll try to make it quick as possible. First I'll go through like the random pile. Because then there's like X-Men related and Conan related. So I got uh, Mask from the four part miniseries. The first series. Number one, two, and four. Which completed that series for me I got ROM number 49 and 51 so I got a couple more for that series didn't even know about this series but the from the toy line stone protectors I got issue one which was very cool because I love my toy related property comics this was one of the free ones I picked out because I love this cover. I mean, I love the character Demon. And I have a bunch of those comics as well, but I'm missing a bunch from this series. But I just love that cover. Got Dragon Strike number one, another Dungeons and Dragons spin-off. I got this Zen Intergalactic Ninja Collector's Edition number one. I found the regular version of number one not too long ago, but this is like a red cover and different cover art. So that's cool, and it still has the mini poster inside. Got this Hell's Angel co-starring X-Men. I picked up a couple of those issues, like one and two before, so I figured why not get another one. I got this Thrill Killer, Batgirl, and Robin. Basically because of the cover art. I like Brereton's. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Down here. Brereton. I love his art. Got this little highbrow entertainment image piece here. And this, I just love the cover. It uh, reminds me of a lot of stuff I draw so I wanted to get this for inspiration so I know when I get when we get our permanent home out of an apartment I want to have like my office and I want to decorate it with comic book covers and stuff like that and I got this Ralph Snart Adventures number 16 the Halloween special love that cover Got Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, number two and three of this miniseries. So now I have that complete. And it still has the posters inside, so that's really cool. Got this awesome elf, number six, the sexiest face on earth. <laughs> Except for this huge list. It goes on and on. I thought that was funny. Figured that'd be a cool display piece with my little elf collection got mad balls number seven which is awesome because I needed that and now I only need like 
two more issues to complete that series. Got the Amazing Spider-Man 257. And then the regular Spider-Man number four. Number five. Number 11. And number 12. Which I love the first first several issues of this run because of the McFarlane art and stories were really cool. Oh, and 14. <laughs> Forgot about that one. Got this uh, Marvel Superheroes featuring the Incredible Hulk, number 92. And the Incredible Hulk, I picked up quite a few issues of these as well. So I'm trying to one of the issues or series I'm collecting and my stopping point was 400 so it's pretty cool I got several to fill in some gaps I got issue 132 231 350 365 366, 367, 371, 374, 375, 381, 382, 394, love that cover, 395 with the awesome Punisher, which that series has been awesome, series 2, 396, 397, 398, 399, and 400 so I have my stopping point and a bunch of previous ones and so I have a big big run of them in a row which is awesome because I used to collect the Hulk a lot and I sold them all to pay for rent and everything so now I'm trying to get my collection back and that was a good start to fill in some gaps now on to the X-Men style I got X Factor number 75, 76, 80, 88, 93, giant sized annual number 2, and number 8. And Uncanny X-Men, now I only need a couple issues now and I'll have like 150 all the way up to 325. I believe it's only like 8 issues and I'll have that complete run. Because of this little haul here, I got number 128, 146... 170, 176, 179, 181, 182, 184, 185, 186, 265, 283, 297, 298, 303, 307, 
308 309 and then this is uh, was it 321 I believe no 322 it's a cool cover the juggernaut and this is 323 324 and then I got annual 5 and annual 17 so now I have annuals 5 through 19 I believe so I only need a couple more annuals to have them all and like I said I only need issue 266 and I'll pretty much have one seventy five all the way through three twenty five and then I'm missing a few issues in the fifty like the one fifties area. So that was an awesome awesome collection filler. Now on to the Conan titles which as you know are my favorite. <laughs> so I got Conan the Barbarian number thirty eight 47 104 106 111 112 124 144 213, 219, 246, 247, 248, 249, 250, 256, 257. Now on to King Conan's and Conan the King, which is the same thing, but number two, number three, number four. Number seven, number eight, number ten, number eleven, love that cover, number twelve, number thirteen. Number 14, number 15, number 17, number 22, 23, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 37, 39, 40, 41, 43, 44, 47, 49, as you can see I got hooked up on the uh, 
Conan the Kings. <laughs> I was missing a bunch of those. And then now on to Cull the Destroyer. I got number 29. And then this is from the first series, which is one of the only ones I needed. I think I only need like one or two more of those. And then this is from the third series. I have the second series complete. And the third series, I got number two, number three, number five, and number ten, which now I only need issue one, and I'll have that series complete. But as you can see, sometimes it pays to trade a bunch of stuff you don't care about to fill in the gaps of stuff that you do care about so I was super happy with with this and like I said he's holding some more comics for me I just have to go through my comics again and figure out what I want to get rid of because I know I have a bunch more stuff I want to get rid of and just start focusing on the main series I collect so there you go hope you enjoyed this video Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, my friends, peace.